What was it like 50 years ago, Churchill Downs, backside? All black. All I was, black. I was taught by black guys. Harold Joseph works for Jimmy Baker. He's still back here. He worked for me. Yeah. I started walking hots in that barn in 1967, 68. Wow. And then yeah. I trained for 34 years. Now I work for Churchill for the clockers. The black guys, it was good, huh, back then? They were horsemen. They lived in the barn, stayed at the barn all day. Sure did. They called me Young Blood. Young Blood. <laughs> and I'd get ready to leave, and they'd say, Where are you going, Young Blood? <laughs> you know, when we get done. You try to break the gate down, huh? Well, you know, I was, was young. 16, 17, and I'd go to the grocery farm. They'd give me money and a grocery list. And one day, I stuck a newspaper in one of them's bag. And when I gave him his groceries, he said, you forgot your paper. I said, oh, I got that for you. He said, I don't read a newspaper. He said, I don't even know who the president is. Because uh, the only time they left the backside was on a van going to Florida for the winter. They never left back here. Uh, Just completely different. But, you know, I, my dad told me when I was a young man that things change. And you got to roll with the change. Or you'd be, you'd be unhappy all the time. But I still don't know any Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Because they're the labor force back here now. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, They it's, sure are. And there's, there's, it's just like uh, any time back here, there's always good, sharp people. And then there's people that it's just a job to them. You know, there's, they, there's Spanish people that live with their horses and love their horses. Absolutely. And then there's some that can't wait to leave when they get done. You know? Absolutely. Well, it's always been like that. You know, your lifetime greatest trainer. Oh, well, we got a couple here. We got a couple Hall of Famers back here. Bill Mott. Uh, Todd Fletcher's here. Of course, he's a New York-based guy. Chad Brown. But in my life, probably Charlie Whittingham. Charlie fired a lot of owners. They bothered him about when he was going to run their horses. He'd tell them to move their horses. <laughs> well, I knew I had two guys work for me that worked for Charlie. And uh, he yeah. came up tough. Well, Read he's... his book sometime. Him and his brother worked in the carnival when they were kids. Grew up during the Depression. Then he went in the Marine Corps. He worked on a racetrack for a while. Then he went in the Marines. And he, when he came out, he went back to the racetrack. The racetrack called your name, man, once you get going back there. Oh, yeah. Then. Yeah. But I was lucky. My brother brought me out here when I was young because I wasn't any count. You know, I was drinking beer at 15. And, and I, don't, I hated school. I couldn't stand being in school wanted to be out here so it's it's been my life derby week derby day you know talk about what that represents for you in your life well it's the biggest year uh being from here it's the biggest year in the, for the industry biggest day or two we had a hundred thousand here yesterday and they're sold out today. The new building, they'll be setting records because there's another 7,500 seats. And that's sold out. Everything sold out, yeah. So now attendance record will all go up because of the new building. And it's a good year. It's, I mean, we've had a few scratches, but it's a solid, it's a good derby, good year. And back here, they call me cornbread, corn, corn dog, corn pone, corn husker. That's enough. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. All right.